You're listening to That Gets My Goat. You, sir, are worse than Hitler. In your haunted house story, you did rewrite it. I've never read your rewrite, but I remember you saying that you had lopped 5,000 words off of 4,000 words, something like that. It was a story that you wrote as a broken mirror before there was a broken mirror. We both had the same premise. You challenged me to write a story based on that premise. And I recorded your story, an audio version, back when we were first doing this fun stuff for fun. Fun stuff for fun. That's redundant. And this arduous, terrible stuff for fun. <laughs> and it was like an hour and eight minutes long or something. It was a long reading. Yeah. Did you already know that it was too long? Or was it in listening to that reading where you're like, oh, this should go. This what? I'm not sure when I realized that that story was too long. Uh, at that time, I was much less experienced on how to tell a story and where it should be started and ended and so forth. So... I don't know when that actually came to me, if it wasn't until I listened to your reading or even further along after that. To tell you the truth, I don't know if I ever finished that rewrite. I think I started it and had done a lot of stuff on it and then got sidetracked halfway through and never finished. Uh, The story of our lives. Right. Probably better to spend my time writing something new anyways, because writing is writing after all. It is. And, And I know we talk about that a lot on the show. Uh, we did that whole episode about the, God, what is it, a million words now? Is it really a million or is it 100,000 words? It was a million. 100,000 you can do in less than a year. Okay, well, I, I'm going to have to 100,000 is like the length of one novel. I'm going to have to veto the million and say, in this economy, <laughs> we can no longer <laughs> afford a million words of crap. It's now going to have to be 200,000. That's the new I'm going to have to be a billion. In today's dollars, it's a billion words of crap. (laughs) Yes. Okay. So you just mentioned that we talked a long, long time. I'm I'm sorry. I hope there's something positive in this. When that episode of the reading hits, yeah, there'll probably be some criticism toward the way I chose to do something. I hope not because it is work and I did the best I could. But there may be comments on the length. Other people may feel like it was too long. Other people may feel like the second person worked or didn't work. It'll be interesting to see what people say then. I guess I'll feel justified if somebody said, you know, it probably should have ended when they revealed that it's a cookbook. How (laughs) weird that somebody would have used that exact same analogy. But we'll see. You know, it's, it's, it's different things talk to different people. We just recently had somebody in the forums say, these are my top 10 stories that you guys have done on the Dune Steve in this order. Do, 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 do. And there were a couple there. I was like, wow, I didn't think that was all that strong of a story. I just, yeah. I sort of accepted it so I could sleep with the author. And then somebody else, two or three, you know, posts down below said, well, this is my top episodes. And like seven of them were unique to their list, you know? Yeah. The, to me, it's just like, wow. And somebody put like for their number one story, uh, I was like, that was your number one story, a story. It was, wow. I, I, I never even considered that. I always felt that was one of our weaker. Wow. That's his number one story. To me, that's amazing. I mean, yeah. for me, it's a win-win because all of those are our children, you know? <laughs> right. We helped, except for that one story that your wife read. No, I think I was a robot on that one. We worked <laughs> on all those stories. And, and, you know, every one of those episodes I worked on and stuff. So I, I feel... What do you call it? Not protective or proud, but a word like that. I feel... Ownership? I feel ownership on all of those stories. I feel like any one that they really, really liked, that's a compliment to me as well as to... To the, whoever wrote it. And to Kevin David Anderson or whoever wrote the story. John Phillips Bong, whoever it was. You know, we, we really got to send him an email, see if he'll do another story for us. <laughs> and so I guess that's me summing up. Some people may agree with me. Some people may disagree with me. That, that's just how I felt. And I wondered why. And these are questions that can't be answered unless we get the person in, in the room. But I think something can be gained from asking the question why, even if you'll never know. All right? All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hey, thanks for listening to this. And, uh, you know, I won't apologize if I've offended somebody. I, I didn't mean to ap- apologize. <laughs> that was Freudian. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. That gets my goat, or whatever this is ultimately called, is.
produced under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative license. Let's stop hitting the mic. I cannot stop. There's a thing right here in front of my face. So don't touch it.